What's going on everyone? Brian Schmidt here and today I'm going to show you all how to perform the hanging knee raise, also known as the hanging leg lift. So one of the cool things about this exercise is the only things you need in order to perform it is a standard pull-up bar and of course yourself. But if you're uncomfortable hanging from a pull-up bar to do this, there are a couple variations you can do first to get used to the lift. Um, you can sit in the captain's chair, which that's the one elevated off the ground a little bit. You have your arms on the pads to support yourself. Your uh, back is against the seat, and you can do the knee raises that way. They also have ab straps that hang from the pull-up bar. You put your arms through those slings, and that's going to support your body weight while you can focus on the movement that way. But today I'm going to show you two similar variations on how to do this. And the first one is more of the strict form variation that's going to be focusing mostly on muscle building, the one I focus on most of the time. And the second one is a little bit faster paced with the reps, and more people do this one to get their heart rate up. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, both variations though have the same starting position, same form at the beginning. You're going to get a double overhand grip on the pull-up bar, get your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And with your feet, you're going to bring them together as you start to hang and have them just a little bit out in front of you. You don't want them back like this. So this is our starting position, and we're going to keep our muscles in our upper back, um, your lat, rhomboids, traps, even your shoulders, biceps, forearms, nice and tight the entire time, nice and contracted, so you can really focus on your core and the muscles you're training, your lower abs. So anyways... Let's get back to our starting position. Keep everything nice and tight. Feet out in front together. And you're going to bring your knees up. Get that 90 degree angle and keep going. Up towards your chest and back down. So up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. And that's really how you do it. So as you can see, I'm maintaining very strict form the entire time. I'm not swinging my body all over the place. It's, you have the starting position at the bottom and you're bringing your knees up to that finishing position at the top. As long as you focus on those and do them nice and slow and focusing on your core and abs, then you shouldn't have a problem like with your body going all over the place. Unless you're trying to do this next variation so this next one, we're going to go a little bit faster, and this is where people start going all over the place. But it's really simple, kind of the same rules apply. You want to keep your muscles in your upper back and arms contracted and tight the entire time. You want to still start with your feet in front of you. You don't want to have them behind you. And that's also going to help avoid kicking your knees up in the air. You'll see a lot of people focusing on really kicking their legs, kicking, kicking their knees up. You don't want to do that. It's an abs exercise. You want to still raise your knees up towards your chest. That's why it's called a hanging knee raise. So anyways, I'll show you the faster one. And it's nice to get a little rhythm going the entire time. It'll keep you going. Um, but as long as you keep those rules in mind, you shouldn't be swinging all over the place. Simple enough. So here we go. <clears throat> Just gonna do a few reps for you all. Feet out in front again. And boom. 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 And that's how you perform the hanging knee raise. So, hope you all like that video. Um, let me know what version you guys usually do in the gym. What do you like more? I like the first one because it's very controlled. It's like most exercises you do in the gym, that time over tension to help build those muscles. Um, and yeah, so anyways, hope you all like that. As always, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and this is going to be probably our last video for 2016. So to all my subscribers I do already have, I want to thank you all for supporting us so far. We'll have a lot more videos coming to you in 2017. I'll see you all later. Hey everyone, it's Brian. If you like this video and would like to further support our channel, make sure to visit our official Patreon page. Every contribution helps us to continue making great quality videos. Thanks again for watching.